Last September 2 to 13, the Holy Father Pope Francis made his apostolic journey to four countries in Asia Pacific, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, East Timor, and Singapore. And the Holy Father calls it an apostolic journey because he aims to bring the word of the Lord, to make the Lord known, and also to get to know the people, their culture, and their faith. In his general audience after that journey, he shared to the people these words, and I quote, In thinking of the church, we are still too Eurocentric or Western, but in reality, the church is much bigger than Rome and Europe. The church is much more alive in these countries as I met the communities, listening to the testimonies of priests, religious, lay people, and especially the catechists. End of quote. The Pope has seen a lot of good in these countries and in also the dynamic faith of these people. And he saw the importance of evangelizing, not by proselytizing, but by attracting the people to the faith, to Christ, and to the church. And despite the evils around us, there is a lot of good happening in many parts of the world. We as Christians, need also to highlight goodness in people, in the culture, and in this way bring about the light of the gospel to them. The Holy Father went to these countries that are far away from the Vatican. He went to the peripheries to listen, to evangelize, and to proclaim the Lord's compassion to them. Goodness is everywhere. And it is not something that is exclusive. And this is the essence of our being Catholic. The word Catholic comes from Greek meaning universal or for everyone. And we firmly believe that the salvation given by Christ is for all, for everyone, for all of us. While the word Catholic may not explicitly appear in the Bible, but we can see the universal perspective that good and pleasing actions to God are not selective. In the first reading on the Gospel, we find the theme that God's grace is freely given to anyone. Moses, when confronted by someone preaching who was not part of their group, said, I wish that all the Israelites were prophets and that the Spirit of the Lord will be given to all of them. And similarly, in the Gospel, Jesus responds to John, who reported someone using his name to cast out demons. Do not stop him, for no one who performs a miracle in my name will soon say anything bad about me. For whoever is not against us is for us. God's love and understanding are vast. His gift of salvation is for everyone, Catholic. And this is our mission as well, to bring people to God, starting with our very own selves, through our acts of repentance and efforts towards conversion. During our formation years, I had opportunities to talk with fellow Salesians who are missionaries in different countries. And one of the questions that I ask is this, how do you deal with persons from other religious denominations? Do you convert them to the faith as part of your missionary work? Most of them responded by saying that we deal with them with much respect and charity. And there are many young people in our youth centers who are not Catholics, but they are welcome and they experience the family spirit of St. John Bosco in our Salesian centers, in our settings. And there is a lot of good in these people. And there is a lot to learn from them through the good works that they are doing and sharing, especially with fellow youth. And the witness of our Catholic Christian life is a powerful way of leading and guiding these people to the faith. Sometimes it is these young people themselves who looking at their own life, our way of life, by living our faith, are the ones who say, I would like to be baptized. 
I would like to become one of you as a Christian, as a Catholic. Goodness is everywhere and it is not something exclusive. It can even come from the most unlikely persons. Salvation is for everyone, is for all of us. Brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus is inviting all of us today to see the goodness in every person and in everything around. The world is full of the goodness of the Lord and we can combat the evils around us with hope and charity that comes from the Lord Jesus. Let us face these realities head on, but with these virtues as our shield and weapon. May we also show love to others without discrimination. Love is for everyone, not just for those we like, but also for those who lack love. Not just for friends, but also for those who we consider enemies, those whom we are not in good terms with. May our minds and hearts be open to accepting others and demonstrating our love for them. Let us strive and do our best to love without bias or expectation, and we will be rightly called as Catholics. And as we end this month of September, let us also look at the Lord's goodness in our life. Let us see how we have been blessed in our families, in our communities, and how we have also become a blessing as well to our brothers and sisters. How we have become instruments of God's peace and goodness to everyone. In this Holy Mass, we pray, Lord Jesus, help us to seek the things that will unite us with other believers rather than focus on the things that cause division. Amen.